Greetings, Tarnished, Hunters, Ashen One, Chosen Undead. If you're a beginner to the Soul series, then these names will soon become familiar to you. Because today, I'm going to be showing you what order you should be playing the Soul series in. Oh! So, first things first, I want to start off with... Bloodborne. Bloodborne was the first Souls game I ever played, and it destroyed me. However, this game is a fan favorite for a reason. Personally, I feel like this game has the perfect level of difficulty for beginners without being too easy, is one of the best control and souls games so far, and with it being a standalone title, you don't have to worry about sequels or learning any other lore to figure out what's going on. Okay, my next pick is... Bloodborne. I, I just can't stress this enough. You guys need to play Bloodborne, seriously. This game just has the, the, just look at it. It's the best looking game, despite it being 30 FPS and having no anti-aliasing. And the designs of the characters, the bosses, it's just top tier. Just, just, just play it, please. For the love of God, play Bloodborne. All right, all jokes aside now. My next pick is Dark Souls. Bloodborne. It's, it's, it's Bloodborne. Play, play Bloodborne. Okay, okay, okay. My next pick is... Bloodborne. It, it just has some of the best bosses in the entire franchise and it has by far the best DLC going out of all of them. There's no competition. It is by far the best Souls game going to this day. I mean, just listen to this God tier soundtrack. All right, all right, that's enough now. My second real pick is... It's Bloodborne. Play Bloodborne. All right, now, that's enough now. Serious now, my next pick is Elden Ring. Yep, that's it. No Bloodborne transition, just it, it's Elden Ring. Elden Ring for me is close contender for the best Souls game, but at the same time, it is also the most beginner-friendly Souls game to start off with. It's also the newest one in the franchise, so the hype is still alive, and the DLC is slowly approaching. But it's also the biggest Souls game so far. I have put the most hours into this game out of all of them, just by the sheer amount of content that's in this game. There are secrets left, right, and center everywhere in this game. For example, early on in the game, you can find a secret chest that teleports you back to Bloodborne 